What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Over here. So talking about screen five again. So recently Two Brash Sarah over on TikTok, the person who's been doing the in-world kind of marketing promotion to hype up the events of what's gonna happen in screen five, that account shared with us some tidbits about Wes Carpenter or not Wes Carpenter, <laughs> Wes Hicks and Sam Carpenter and how those two characters are connected. So we know Sam Carpenter is the sister to Tara Carpenter who is a part of a group of friends that Wes is a part of. Wes Hicks, of course, being Judy Hicks' son. And for a long time, I've been seeing the question of, like, where was Wes Hicks during the events of Scream 4? Well, we learned something that can give us a safe assumption to make about where he might have been at, finally. Now, this is a bit of information that was out there for quite some time. It actually was revealed during some of the audition tapes. I just kind of glanced over it. Don't believe I ever actually talked about it. But Sam used to be Wes's babysitter way back when, I guess, when he was very younger and she was still in high school living in Woodsboro, of course. So that's their connection. So that could be where Wes was at when it pertains to Judy running around helping Dewey and the rest of the Woodsboro PD in screen four because we never see Wes. The other assumption was that Wes was with the father for whatever reason or maybe west just recently came to stay with judy but it would appear learning that he used to be babysat by another woodsboro teen when he was younger it seems to indicate that west has been living with his mother for quite some time and this could be where she had west during the day when she was working her woodsboro pd jobs her son was being babysat by sam carpenter this, of course, still does not mean that Wes Hicks was always a thing. We know that he was not a thing in Screen 4. We know that Judy did not have a son. We know that they, they literally just included it now for the sake of this movie. But this is another nice tidbit to know about the character, knowing that Sam has some type of connection to the group of friends that Tara has with her babysitting one of them. I think it's also hinted at that she might have babysat the, the Meeks twins, Chad and Mindy. She could have also babysat some other members of that group, but we'll, we'll, of course, learn that over the course of the film. I did see the idea that maybe Dewey was Wes's dad. Now, in order for that to even be a thing, that would mean that Dewey, many, many years ago, with since Wes is 17, that would mean he cheated on Gail quite some time ago, and she just never found out. And I guess that would be something we would learn because we know that Dewey has a scene with Judy Hicks at some point during the film. We see them interacting at, at one point or another in like one of the featurettes that came out or TV spots has been released. So if he was indeed Wes's son, because again, that is possible. That would just mean that he cheated on Gail many, many years ago. And I don't think that's necessarily a bit of information you want to reveal like that. Uh not to say that that would be something that kind of just make us hate Dewey because there's been plenty of things in the past that did not make Gail very likable. <laughs> but I'm just saying that that doesn't that doesn't seem like a route they would take that in. I think Dewey and Gail are just not together because of them not being able to work out whatever was the cause of them breaking up, which it appears to have been Gail's newfound success of going back to her revitalization of that tarnished brand <laughs> uh the other thing about that i wanted to address was sydney coming back to woodsboro for another reason other than of course just dewey's demise dewey's demise seems to be the most convincing thing and the strongest thing but of course she could always show up if martha meeks were to be killed off in some capacity not to say that we would see martha die but we could have something come out in the news where Martha Meeks is killed and then Sydney comes back to Woodsboro over Martha's death. Now, I think the question there would be, why was that so significant for you to return to town? Because Martha li literally is only a character that we know based off. We know Sydney has known her for longer than the time we saw them interact, but we only saw Martha in Scream 3. So it's just like, I mean, I guess bits of dialogue could rationalize it. Maybe Martha's death did make her a little bit concerned about the about the killings and maybe them possibly having something to do with her since someone who was who is connected to her like like Martha uh, was killed off. And maybe she's thinking, you know what, I'm not going to sit around and wait for the killer to kill off people I love. I'm going to go to town and check in on all this right now after Martha dies. 
maybe that's how they could rationalize it. I just don't think Martha dying would be something I would find believable enough for you to show up and say, oh, I heard about Martha and I just had to show up because, you know, that was Randy's sister. Yeah, the sister who we only saw you mention and interact with one time <laughs> or a couple times in Scream 3 and no mention of her in Scream 4. And again, she's known Martha for quite some time. I just think that if she were to return and Martha's death were the catalyst, it would be more so now Martha dying has made her concern for Dewey, who still is in uh, Woodsboro at this point, And maybe Gail at who again Gail is is told to not even be living in Woodsboro just like Sydney the only one who's living in Woodsboro seems to be doing then Gail comes to Woodsboro after the Woodsboro killing start up again just to you know keep up the again revitalization of that brand that she's that she claims was tarnished <laughs> but Sydney could come to town over Martha dying that's a possibility I'm just convinced it'll be the death of Dewey Riley unfortunately and when it happens, how it happens will be one of the most gut wrenching things for us all to endure on screen. Because with Sydney knowing that she's happily, happily married, apparently, and she has a kid, she doesn't even live in Woodsboro. She lives out of the state of California, in fact, from what we have been told. It doesn't seem that she's just going to show up just for any old random thing about Ghostface. You know, if there's no indication of anything having to do with her, but there's just another Ghostface killing spree. Sydney is not going to book a flight to go back to Woodsboro to help out a group of kids she doesn't even know. But if something happens that relates to her and now this ghost face killer has caused some gripes within her over over a specific person that has been killed like a, like Dewey. She will book a flight and she will go out to Woodsboro. And then, of course, she will learn about what's going on and she'll care about the teens and mostly want to solve who killed her friend. But she's, of course, going to then express her her sympathy and, and try to help these teens understand what they're going through because she went through it many years ago, multiple times. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about that new revelation about Sam and Wes's connection down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And the last thing I want to say is that my spoiler-free review for Scream will be up next Wednesday on the 12th when the embargo lifts. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.